Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Addie. Today's video is episode two of the clip art class, which is a series in which I'm showing you how I create clip art to sell online and my whole process from start to finish. So last episode was creating a canvas to use in Procreate uh, to get a watercolor paper texture effect. And today's episode is going to be painting watercolor clip art. We're also going to do some black ink line work drawings because when we take it into Photoshop and Illustrator in the next episodes, what we're going to do is create some raster clip art as well as vector clip art. So I will cover both of those in this episode. Before we get into it, all of the brushes that I'm using are available for you to download. Follow the link in the description. You can also download the watercolor canvas that I'm using, which is what we created in the last video. You can use all of these watercolor brushes or other brushes that you purchased. Um, but what I am specifically selling for the most part is watercolor clip art. So that's what we're gonna do today. So in this video, I'm not gonna walk you through all of my painting techniques, but if you want more of that and you want more like how to paint content, definitely leave a comment and let me know. And that's something that I would love to create for you in the future. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off, I am using the Petal Painter brush here that I made. And we're gonna start painting some flowers. To go into a different layer and I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose a nice green color. Still use the same brush. I've actually decided I'm gonna change the placement of these. So to move the clip art around when you're painting on multiple layers, you just need to select both layers. And then you can use the marquee tool. Make sure that these are both still selected. Use the marquee tool and select. Use the selection tool and move it as needed. and then go back into my other painting layer. Finally, go on that last layer and I'm gonna choose this yellow color. All right, so now that I have my base of my flowers down, I'm gonna go back to the flower petal layer and I'm gonna duplicate that, change the layer settings by tapping on LB, change that to normal. I'm gonna go up here and select a true white. And then I'm gonna go back here, tap on the layer so that this side menu comes up, tap select. And then I'm gonna go into my brushes and use the solid fill to fill the layer up. Then I'm gonna select this layer again because now it will have a little more white coverage. And then the last step is that I'm gonna go back onto my colored layer here. And I'm gonna smudge around some of these brush strokes. 
and some of the, the places that it overlaps to make it look a little more realistic here. I'm gonna pull in some white from the edges so you can go off of the selected tool and it'll just pull white in and smudge that in. And then I like, sometimes I will go into my color values here and make it a little bit of a different version of this color. And I will then go in and I'm gonna actually paint with the Wooly Water Blender. And I'm just gonna add some darker pigment uh, to kind of recreate the pooling effect that you get with watercolor. We're gonna blend this out later. into the blender. This one, I always get comments on how hard I tap on my screen, so I'm probably gonna get that again, but um, this one I like to tap and kind of allow the smudge tool to work its magic without too much control. All right, last step, I'm gonna go back into the color that we painted the petals with and I'm going to use the watery bleed brush. I'm just gonna go around some of the edges to create some, some hard edging, change the, the scale a bit and get some pigment splashes. And then I'm gonna go in with the clean edge brush and do some of the same edging, but I'm gonna turn my brush opacity down. and then tap the marquee tool to deselect. And we're actually gonna go ahead and move the green layer, the leaf and stem layer up. Duplicate that, go in again with a white, change the selection to normal, solid fill, select this, paint, tap select one more time, and then tap onto your painting layer, go in with the smudge tool and again, start blending. And I'm gonna deselect that. And last, we'll do the same thing on 
this layer. And now as a final task, I'm going to duplicate this, bring it down below this layer. And this is because I want to blend, I want to be able to blend the pigment of these colors together, but still keep a fully white, opaque background behind it. So I'm going to pinch to merge, and then I will do the same for that. I'm going to select that and then go back onto my painting layer. And now I'm going to blend the two. Deselect, do the same here, merge the pigment layers together, and then merge the opaque layers together. Select this, and then do a little bit of blending between the yellow and the pink. I just think this helps give it that true watercolor look. So now, when we're ready to import it into Photoshop, the background is not translucent. So you can take this, so you can pull the art, and you could layer it, create wreaths, etc. And you can you can cut it out with the paper texture and maintain the paper texture. So I'm going to leave the white background separate because we will need that for the next step in Photoshop. Okay, so now we're going to paint some art that is meant to be vectorized. So I'm going to just choose a black and I'm going to go on a layer. And instead of using one of the brushes from my package, I'm going to use a native Procreate brush. I'm gonna use the Studio Pen. And this is going to be just a nice, basic, clean line. Now I'm still painting on a linear burn layer with the texture, but that's not going to matter when we're getting into Photoshop and copying it over to Illustrator. We're not going to compress those textures on top of this, but I, for whatever reason, just really enjoy painting on a paper texture and getting that look. So we're gonna continue doing so. Uh, here's a tip, if you aren't super confident in your drawing skills or you just like want some smoother lines, you go into the brush itself and you go to the stroke and turn up streamline all the way, it will smooth the line over um, really beautifully. So this is good for lettering, for calligraphy, uh, but also just for some nice, smooth, clean lines.
All right, and these are going to be our vector files. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Maybe you learned something. If you did and you like it, uh, feel free to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more painting and Procreate iPad digital art kind of tutorials. I'm going to be doing a few more episodes in this series and I'm really excited to share them with you. Don't forget to download all of the resources down below following the link in the description. Till next time.